The following video is rated L for Lispy. Alright dude, so look at this shit. Okay, so the trailer has been out for, I don't know what, a week or so? For uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare? Look at this shit, look at it. Look at that. Look at this shit! Like, come on, look at that dislike ratio. I know that's a lot of dislikes, but just look at the ratio. I don't think I've ever seen a gaming video with this low of a ratio. Only 243,000 likes compared to almost 1 million dislikes. Now, to look this into a comparison, let's go to uh, Justin Bieber's worst music video ever. Uh, fucking, uh, I only pulled this up for research, I, I swear. I didn't listen to it or anything. Or, okay, I know that this is a lot of dislikes, but just look at the ratio. In comparison to the Infinite Warfare trailer, this ratio is much better. Once again, look at this, look at this. Boom, look how low that is. Boom. Yeah, that, that, that's a good, uh, that's, that's putting it in scope for you. So, uh, yep, rip cod. Hey, so what is up, scrub and scrubbers? It's your boy, Stars and Shepard here, and let's talk about that Infinite Warfare some more. Now, it's no mystery that the, the trailer for this game is probably one of the most hated videos when it comes to gaming. In fact, it is the most hated gaming video ever on YouTube in history. It's already made its way into the top 10 most hated videos on YouTube in general. And there's a chance that it might actually get even higher. Now, the ratio is probably one of the worst in YouTube history. Like, the ratio is basically most, like, almost 300,000 likes to almost 1 million dislikes. So, do the math. I'm not going to do it, but that's pretty bad. Now... I must say that the only reason why there's probably any likes on this video is probably going to be COD 4. And that's what I want to talk about today. In my opinion, I think COD 4 Remastered is probably going to be the saving grace for this year's Call of Duty. Because, I mean, everyone's been asking for a remaster of COD 4 and for that return to that old nostalgic boots on the ground. And they deliver it with Call of Duty 4 Remastered. But... You are required to get Infinite Warfare to get COD 4 Remastered. And not only that, you have to buy the $80 version. Because they're not going to be bundling it with their normal version. And they're not going to be selling the game separately, at least at first. I feel like they're going to do it down the road. But for right now, they're going to see how many sales they can get of Infinite Warfare using Call of Duty 4 Remastered as an incentive. And I, I won't say it's not a good idea, because, I mean, that's probably one of the smartest things I've ever seen a company do. They give the fans what they want, but they also make you have to buy their new product. So it's really smart, but it's not good for the consumer. But I can't diss them for something that's probably one of the smartest business moves I've ever seen in gaming. And, yeah, COD 4 Remastered is obviously going to boost sales, because people really, really want to play COD 4. I mean, like I've said in multiple videos... I don't give a crap about COD 4 Remastered or Infinite Warfare for that matter. I'm all about that Battle for One hype, baby. But, I mean, I will agree that there, in some circumstances, I can see why people would want COD 4 Remastered over Infinite Warfare because, uh, you know, the whole futuristic thing is just getting farther and farther into the future. So, I mean, it, it's getting out of hand when it comes to that. And the only thing that I can really see happening, though, and this is a fear more than, you know, a, uh, a bump for Infinite Warfare, I almost feel like there's going to end up being a higher population in COD 4 Remastered's multiplayer than there will be in Infinite Warfare's multiplayer. That would be pretty funny to see. I'm waiting to see if that happens, but if that happens, that'd be fucking crazy to see COD 4 getting more online viewers or online players than the new Call of Duty is going to be getting. That's that's crazy to think about. Now, only thing I really think could end up happening is I feel like people are going to end up buying this $80 version, redeeming the code to get COD 4, and then selling off their copy of Infinite Warfare to get their money back. Like, the only way I can't see that happening is if some, uh, Activision makes it to where you have to have the disc to play COD 4 Remastered, which... I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure they're going to do. They're not stupid. They know 
pe- what people are going to do. So, unless they put some type of thing where you have to have Infinite Warfare to play COD 4 Remastered, I can see people selling the game back to some uh, little scrub or whatnot and getting their $60 back and just getting off with having COD 4 Remastered. So, um, unless they put some type of back door to stopping that from happening, that's going to be something that you're going to be seeing. Like, I- I'm pretty sure I'm going to go on eBay and see Infinite Warfare uh fifty dollars uh code redeemed already like that's gonna be happening i can already see it but things are looking really scary for infinite warfare this year because with so much hate i know at this point it's probably just getting more hate because it's the cool thing to do but it still shows that people are just fed up with infinite warfare and all this futuristic shit so this is scary this could be one of the biggest plunders of Call of Duty. We thought Ghost was the end of Call of Duty. This could be the end of Call of Duty as we know it. The only people that I can st- see not hating on this game are probably little kids who don't build into hype and stuff because they're little kids. They just play games to play games. But the majority of the fan base is just fed up with this shit. And while I'm not in the fan base enough to even have much of an opinion, I mean, I'll play a game no matter what setting it is as long as it's good. But people really aren't looking forward to this game. So COD 4 could be keeping COD alive this year. I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see what happens. But yeah, COD 4, you're going to be the saving grace of Infinite Warfare. So hopefully that turns out well and that game doesn't end up sucking. But anyways, if you like this video, be sure to click the like button down below. I'd gladly appreciate it. Comment down below on your thoughts. Is COD 4 the only reason why you're going to get Infinite Warfare? Also, subscribe to me if you're not a scrub. And until next time, guys, I gotta go uh, do something else.